Ah, uh, Lisbon, Portugal, such a beautiful city. I can't wait to get on the tram and see all of Lisbon's attractions better. So, Jeremy, you've said that you know Portuguese, right? Well, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, I just got into it recently and I just bought this easy to learn Portuguese book. But man, it's so hard to understand anything. Well, unlike me, you at least know a thing or two, so ask someone about the tram working hours. Alright, alright, I'll ask. Blah 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 blah. Um, como licença, senhoras, você pode me dizer qual é o meu nome? Você é inglês, certo? Nenhum problema, obrigado. So, how was it? Well, I don't think they were Portuguese. The language sounded differently. Maybe Spanish? Why don't you ask the tram driver about the schedule? Cause he's coming right now. Oh, really? Com licença, cara. Você está com fome? Sir, just stop. Please, your Portuguese is hurting my ears. And besides, we can also speak English, you know? So, if you came for the schedule, the tram is working from 8 in the morning till 10 in the night. Now, if you excuse me, I need to get back to my work. Well, uh, I think I'll throw that book away and buy another one. Every city needs good transportation systems, such as trams. And there's no better one than this classic yellow and white Lisbon tram. Now, let's look at it in detail. The front stays true to the real-life tram, imitating its round appearance. There are also windows so that the driver of the tram can see and some grills. On to the sides. Both sides are identical having the iconic yellow and white color scheme. There's also a pair of entries into the tram on both sides. These have small staircases and bars which people can hold onto. Now the back. Well, the back is exactly the same as the front, so next! The roof of the tram has two black tiles on both ends where the name of a certain street would be written, as well as a rod which connects to the city electricity cables. The roof can be detached in order to reveal the inside, which has plenty of seats for passengers to use. There's also a seat and a steering wheel on both sides for the driver. And finally, the driver himself, Pablo. Hola! I'm Pablo, and I love showing tourists the city while driving the tram. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed. Bye!